Hello and welcome to this edition of Tagunia's Tip Talk. My name is Dave Weiser and today we're going to be talking about payment terms within Business Central. Payment terms are used by the sales and the purchasing side to calculate what the due date is or the discount due date is for sales and purchasing invoices. And so we're going to talk about how to work with those payment terms, how to set them up, and how to use them on the specific documents. Be aware that when you do this, both the sales and the purchasing side use the same table. So there's not separate tables for customers and vendors or sales and purchasing. It's all using the same table. Once again, like most things, the payment term is set up on the customer and the vendor records and are copied over to the sales and purchasing side, but can be changed there and we'll see how that works in just a minute. So let's go to Business Central now and take a look at how to set those up and use those payment terms. So in working with Business Central then, the first place we're going to want to go is the payment terms page. So as I look for payment terms and open that up, you'll see that there's a number of columns here, the code that we're going to be entering on the specific record, and then also a description of that code that gives you a little bit more information as to how that terms code is calculated. And then these three columns right here, which basically specify what the due date or the discount due date is. In the due date calculation column, you're going to enter the calculation that's going to determine how to get from the document date to the due date. Be aware when I talk about the document date, the due dates and discount due dates are based on the document date and not on the posting date. Generally, the posting date and the document date are going to be the same, but be aware that these calculations are based on the document date. So the due date calculation goes in this column. If you're using early payment discounts, the discount due date calculation will go in this column, and then the discount percentage will go in that calculation. You can see that by looking at the due date calculations that it's usually a combination of numbers and letters. This is the way Business Central uses to calculate what that due date is going to be so that you can use basically any date on the document and it'll calculate the appropriate date. This page right here will show you what some of these letters mean. Obviously they're fairly obvious. D is for days, W for weeks, M for months, and so on. The number preceding that will indicate how many days or how many weeks or how many months in advance that terms code or that due date should be calculated for. There is another letter of C, which is the current, uh, is a current indicator. So if you use that with one of the other ones, especially the month is where that's most applicable, um, it will take it to the end of that month. So if you put in CW or CM for current month, the due date calculation will take it to the end of the particular month that you're in. And we'll see how that's, uh, how that's used in just one second. So you can see here I've got a couple of, of due dates that are calculated. One CM10D, which is CM plus 10D. You'll notice that this calculation is a formula. The way Business Central deals with these formulas is it starts on the left with the, the very first indicator, it calculates that date, and then it moves to the right until it gets to the end. So it's going to treat each one of these separately to, in order to calculate that due date, and we'll see that here in just one minute too. We also have another special one that is 60 day plus CM plus 10 D. So you can get fairly creative with these discount, discount uh, or these payment terms calculations and really do some interesting things with them. And so we'll take a look at those. The payment terms discount use the exact same kind of formula. So just be aware of that. We won't demonstrate any of that today. So as we get looking at this, the first place we're going to go is to the customer card. If we take a look at the customer card and go to one of these customers and go to the payment terms or the payments fast tab, you'll notice the payment terms code is set. So on, for this particular customer, we've set the CM10D. Now we're going to go ahead and open up a sales invoice and create a sales invoice for this customer and see how that date is calculated or the discount date or the due date is calculated. So we'll go ahead and click new. We'll put in our customer number. As we tab out of that, it, you see it brings in the CM10D from the customer record. My document date is 41521 and it went ahead and calculated a due date of 51021 using this terms code. Now how did it do that? If we take a look at this screen right here, you'll see that the due date calculation of 415, the very first operator was CM. 
So what the system will do is take that 415 to the end of the month, which is 430, and then it adds an additional 10 days, bringing us to 510, 2021 for the due date. Now on this document, on this sales invoice, I can go ahead and change this. So I'm going to change this to that special one that we had, the 60D plus CM plus 10D. So as I change that and tab out of that, you'll see that my due date has now been calculated at July 10th, 2021. How do we get to that? So this little graphic right here will show that based on that terms code, the first thing it does is take a look at the 60D, which moves the 415 to 614. It goes to the end of the month, which then takes the due date to 630, and then it adds 10 more days to take it to July 10th. So you can see you can get very creative with those due dates. Uh, just depending on how you use the that formula calculator you can also use the minus sign so if you need to back up a little bit you can do that too but just make sure that however you set that formula it goes from left to right so hopefully that helps you with payment terms if you have any questions about payment terms or really any other subject related to business central we at Tagunia would be happy to help you just give us a call or an email and we can answer whatever questions you, you might have. Also be sure to click on the subscribe button and the notify bell down below the screen here so that you can subscribe to our channel and also be notified of any future videos that we publish in the TikTok series. See you next time.